Nerfcast! Slurpcast TV game show edition number two. Who won the first one? Correct my memory here. Rip Mike it. did by one, I think. One. Mike won by a hundred points. Um, very close game. Uh, wasn't, yeah, she wasn't there for that one. Now we have three competitors in this one. Um, I think it's going to be a more hotly contested one because the other one, it felt like Biron was running away with it. It did, but it was Jeopardy Biron. scoring. Uh... Yeah, Biron. I mean. We were going in order. We weren't doing like the, the James Holtzhauer. All right, 400 here. Like, yeah, no, play the fucking game, man. Do it in order. Um, we were doing that, but it still felt like Bjorn had it. This one, uh, we've got three competitors. And um, just if this is your first time at Zlurpcast, you have to fight. You have to be introduced right now. Uh, Valdrick, Mike is in the flannel. Uh, Bjorn, are you in a Jaguars jersey? Yes, I am. Okay. I was looking. I looked for a Gardner Minshew jersey, but they didn't have any because mm. I was hoping to get it on the cheap. Surprised. Um, Extreme is a, a Cub shirt. Okay. I found the old foot. This is like feels like brand new. So I had one of these for a Slurpee team, Slurpee Bowl. Team. Yeah. And I think I had an extra one, like someone maybe didn't show up or whatever. And um, I found this one. It feels like brand new. And it's like ten years old. Now. Do you have a problem with big logo shirts like that, where if it's hot out, you get really sweaty under the logo? The oh shirt? yeah, oh yeah. No, I mean I get, does that. I get chest hair sweaty regardless of the low if there's a yeah. logo or not. But if you have that slick logo, the sweat doesn't come out, so it just pools on your chest. And yeah, this one's. I mean, it's not bad. So anyway, um, Gildan is it a Gildan shirt? You tell me. No, no, it's real. It's Looks like there's a bird on it. Bird? Put a bird on it? Put a bird on it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe uh, try to get you to take your shirt off. On. It's not going to happen. <laughs> we want viewers. Show some tatties. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do a uh, game show with Biron as Bing. No, Ding. 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 Mike as Dong. Ding a Dong. Yeah. And Extreme as Dung. Dung. Um, Cromnar Dung. Cromnar, what, what, Crom, what was it? Cromnar Dung. Yeah. And um, that was you. I mean, I'm just saying, pull the, pull the curtain back. That was you. So it makes sense. You were him. Is that, now I can't use it as a question. Um, let's go through the categories today. If you were watching this, you want to play along, feel free. Um, there's no prizes. There's nothing that's gonna, you're going to get. There's no tracking of answers, but just play along for funsies. Um, we have four categories and five questions within each category. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, as much like last time. Categories are Did You Knows, which are Blood Bowl tr fluff trivia based. These are all true or false. Uh, oh, for this one, so for that category, I don't want to do a steal. You know what I mean? Because you're going to know, yeah. You're going to know. The other ones, we'll do a, you know, the other two people can, can buzz in with a steal. You don't know. Um, or, yeah, I guess if you, yeah, if you don't get it right, whoever buzzes, you get it right, we'll do it again for who's next. So the did you knows will be a one shot. First buzz in gets it. Zlurp Nation is the second category. Um, that is Zlurp cast history based questions. Most of it's old, not a lot of newer stuff in there. Um, will you survive? That is all death path based uh, questions. And poopery, which is just kind of miscellaneous. Poopery, not poo related questions or for re related questions, but they might be. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Um, let's randomize uh, the first. No, we're buzzing in. What am I we're doing? Buzzing, we're buzzing in. in. There's no randomizing. It's going to be easy. Um, I am going to. Do you lose points if you get it wrong? Hmm. That makes it hard. No. I was going to say it. Did, uh, did we do that last time? No. There weren't true false questions last time, though. You, you got a 50 50 shot with the true false. I'm, I'm making think, this real. So, you know, I think you should lose points if you get it wrong. That's just more math for you, though. That's fine. I just, I'm just going to take an extra second between questions. Is that okay with All you guys? Right. Yeah. Okay. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Um, 
Well, we'll we'll see if anyone gets anything wrong. Then I won't even worry about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, question. I know. So let's do um, let's do hundreds in each category. We'll just do category at a time because there's no picking, right? There's no control of the board, mm-hmm. right? We, or is there? Is there to, board? Do we? Oh, have there's to... still still board. Whoever gets the last one right has the board. Yeah, gets right? the pick. Yeah. Okay. So there is randomizing. All right. You're on one, two, extreme three, four, Mike only six. Five's a reroll. Five. It's Mike. <laughs> uh, Mike has control of the board. Did you knows? And you can go if you want to bounce around, go ahead. I don't give a shit. Did I'll you know? Did you knows for 100? Okay. These are all Blood Bowl. I'm going to read the actual lore, like how they say. Did you know? To, true or false, Mike? To put a bit. No, we all get the buzz in. Oh, yeah, we can all buzz in. Did you know to put a bit more pep into the Chaos Cup from this season on, the losing team captain in each game must present themselves to be eaten by the Chaos Cup trophy? Black. Ding. Ding. True. That is true. That from is the true. Blood Bowl yeah. Companion book. You're on plus 100. Uh, let's do Zlurp Cast for 100. Okay, Zlurp Nation for 100. What was the name of the game show that was on that was on Zlurpcast early on? Also, way better than this game show. Dong. Dong. Dong, Mike. Go for it. Yep, go for it. We would have also accepted go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I'll do uh, Zlurp Nation for two. Okay, Zlurp Nation for two. How much Blood Bowl stuff on those shipments? Dung. Dung. Next to none, my friend. Next to none, <laughs> my friend. Shreen has control. Uh, did you know Zlurp Nation? Will you survive Poopery? Zlurp Nation. Zlurp Nation for 300? Yes. Okay. What band was playing while Extreme read his rants against Games Workshop during his Zlurp cast? When he was mad about the messing with the rule book. Dung. You don't even have to name the song, just the band. Dong. Dong. Stream first. Yeah, go ahead. Rage Against the Machine. It was Rage Against the Machine. Oh, it's it like I was guessing that, but yes. I believe it was Take <laughs> the Power Back. Category Extreme. Uh, Slurp Nation. Slurp Nation 400. Give me the month and year of the debut episode of Slurpcast. <laughs> Yeah, to you too. <laughs> I can't give it the year. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> that was August 2009. Wow. Stream still has control. Uh, is Lurt Nation for five? Close it out. How can I listen to old episodes? Dong. Dong, Mike. You can't. Correct. It literally <laughs> says you can't. <laughs> That's why this exists. Right. Uh, all right. So, uh, Zlurp Nation. If you accepted the, the greatest hit CD that we have. Hmm. Uh, let me check with the judges. Okay. <laughs> no, no. No, just you can't. Uh, I should have said all old episodes, maybe. Uh, oh. Did you know? Uh, did you know, will you survive poopery, Mike? I'll do, uh, would you survive for 100? Will you survive for 100? What subject was found with a band of revolutionary war reenactors? Ding. You're on. Who is La Grognard? It is Grognard. And is currently locked away for treason by the government. That's just in the lore, correct? He's going to be the new uh, Commissioner Gordon in Batman, right? Todd? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yep. Who are you talking about? Todd? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. The Grognard. This is the corrected version, by the way, with the corrected text. Fun fact. Uh, Beyond uh, has take, control. I'll take Poopery for 100. Poopery for 100. These are real questions, real trivia. What planet is known as the Green Planet? Dong. Mike? Neptune. Uranus. Oh, fuck. I should have. 
So that was for that was no one. I gave that one away after the oh Mike loses though. Yeah, I lose, yeah. Mike loses and no one gets sorry about that. I shouldn't have said it. It's all right. We're all learning here, everybody. Oh, um, Poopery for two hundred. Poopery yeah. two hundred. Name the sitcom that popular popularized the term nerd. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Happy days. Oh, I believe Potsy. Welcome would. back, Cotter. But I was a guess. Uh, was Happy Days first before that? Yes. Yeah. I remember uh, there was a whole episode of Potsy being called a nerd, and Joni was like, "I'm going to call you Jaren." It's like, what's that? Reverse. It's a nerd backwards. Yeah, you're the opposite yeah. of a nerd. Was that before or after the, the phrase sit on it, Potsy, came out? It's weird because sit on it is a 50s term. It's supposed to be in the 50s, but nerd was a 70s term. Like, it was weird. Like, you guys are fucking with the timelines here. Alternate universe Milwaukee, perhaps? Neely Walke. Uh, so no one gets that one. Uh, Biron, category? Uh, uh, potpourri for three? 300, yep. What is the proper name of the hashtag or pound symbol. Ding. You're on. What is sharp? No. False. Incorrect. Anyone else? It, Mike? It, I'm surprised Mike doesn't know this. It is sharp. It's a musical term. Yeah, right, but that's that, not the name of the typographical that, symbol. That is, okay, I should have said hashtag pound or sharp. It's not the technical term. I call bullshit, but whatever. <laughs> Now you're losing points. Thanks Drawing for the reminder. Drawing a blank on it. All right. Octothorpe. Yeah, Octothorpe. See? Mike knows. He knew. I thought you might have known it because of um, orthogonal. Of course. <laughs> it's in the O, the o word category. Or for four. There you go. Biron, you're going to make it back. You'll be fine. You'll no, be I'm just going to guess on every one now. <laughs> you're losing points, though. I don't care. Oh, because you lost one, you're going to fucking... Well, no, because all body? the other topics I'm going to get slammed in. The unicorn is the national animal of what country? Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> that is Scotland. It is? Okay. Yeah, real thing. I was going to say food. <laughs> well extreme to be fair i did poop. these are real trivia questions real as in they have real answers and food is a real answer who am i to say hog space isn't real i would love to go to the vermilion minutes have some spiced potatoes uh you're on, close it up. okay who's d bong bong d's nuts He's nuts, correct. <laughs> Some real answers. I fooled all you guys. Mike's doing pretty well so far. Um, will you survive or did you knows? Did you knows? Two. Did you know? 200. Yeah. Did you know Elfheim Eagles legendary thrower, Valen Swift, was a bit of a ladies' man? Or I mean, elf back in his heyday. After winning the Blood Bowl Championship in 2480 at the infamous after party, he was caught trying on the Eagles cheerleading uniforms and singing love songs to Morganthorpe. This report was quickly banned from Cabal Vision. Only few who saw it lived to tell the tale. Ding. You're on. True. False. I made it up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're on his sucking balls. Uh, Mike has control. Uh, did you know it's for three? 300. The best remembered troll player of all time was Rumble Gut Rockbelly of the now, disband, now disbanded Badland Baddies. During a game against the Southside Squigs in 2468, Rumble Gut set the record for most teammates eaten in one match by consuming the entire squad, the coaches, the cheerleaders, team mascot, and 120 fans in the stands of the Squigs Arena. True or false? You're on? False. No, it's true. White Dwarf 104. Biron's ruining the game. Golf, right? Mike has control. I'll do a five. 
Same. Uh, we're on four, four, okay? Four, four, yeah, okay. sorry. Okay. Did you know? Yeah, I mean, we could, but four, okay. <clears throat> Did you know half-orc Uthar Hogg of the Middenheim Marauders once punched out four referees during a pre-match coin toss and was promptly made player of the year by the appreciative Marauder fans? Ding. True. You're on? That is true. That Second is true, edition yeah. rule book. Mike, don't, you don't know. That is true. I remember the half orc thing, but I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. It's still I will tell you, I put this one in because of the half orc thing, because I don't remember GW using the term half orc. So I remember it because it actually was, it stuck out to me because of the half. I just remember there being a half orc. I don't remember. Yeah, GW, okay. That's, that's funny. That's why I included it. I was like, if someone yeah. thinks about yeah, GW. Yeah, because orcs can't mate with other things because they're mushrooms. Well, this, this was, was back when orcs, well, Blood Bowl wasn't i mean the races were probably more to me more D inspired oh yeah like, you know than warhammer because so they they kind of ret can't retconned it a little bit to the now, yeah well then they went away from it and then back to it i don't know what it is more. nobody cares uh did you know for five did you know for five did you know griff overwald once scored four touchdowns while playing for the polkai panthers in 24 66 ding you're on false False. Do you know who did? I just thought I heard Paul Kai and it sounded like a real team, so I thought it was false. The correct answer is Al Bundy. <laughs> Four touchdowns. Paul Kai Panthers in 20, 1966. I did the 24. Would there, I would like to see a quarterback duel between Al Bundy and uh, the cousin from uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, or, Uncle Rico? Uncle, yeah, Uncle Rico. Yeah. Yeah. Great high school quarterbacks. I saw Uncle Rico pop up in a Seinfeld episode. He played a bum, and um, Elaine threw George's toupee out the window, and he's like, oh, I'm taking this. And he puts it on and walked down the street. I'm like, Uncle Rico. He's been popping up in a lot of things. Um, did you know it was closed out? We are on to um, Will You Survive? That's it, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Will You Survive for 100 or 200? Do uh, you want to go to 200? Yeah. Okay. What subject? Learned invaluable skills, earn invaluable survival skills, including a unique tracking ability called Zima training rituals. Like Zima the drink. Yeah, I know whose character that is. But... Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Del Zing, Scott Prime, because he I was gonna say Scott Primes. That beverage. Yeah. You knew it, Mike. I knew it was Scott it. Primes, but I didn't know what the character. Oh, was. the character. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Biron, want to go 300? Yep. Okay. What subject has been through the death path, not for soldier recruitment, but just for the government's entertainment only? These are all names you probably should know too. Like I didn't pick like some random person you don't know, like as far as created characters. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a mutant kind? Yeah, yeah. I should know that. <laughs> He'll never be an actual uh, recruit. He's just there for fun to watch his plush tools burst. The next, uh, next one in- uh, You're on, let's go 400. For. What subject was a nine-time MFL MVP and an eight-time ABL All-Pro? Um, yeah. Stream? Bo Jackson. Jack. Bo. Oh, shit. I sounded, what did you say? <laughs> you said Bo uh, Jackson. I said the right answer. You said okay. Bo Jackson. I heard it. But, okay. He says Zo Joxer. Oh, you got it. Great job. By the way, two characters in the game. One is um, African American. One is a female. Extra diverse. Just saying. Just saying. Extreme gets the points. What, Biron? He said Bo Jackson. Okay. That's wrong. He has cancer. Fuck you. <laughs> Bo Jackson has cancer. Yeah, and also yeah. fuck you. <laughs> the stream gets a fucking card he can play. It's totally fine. So, do you want do you want one redcon? 
because you didn't say one. Mike didn't say Scott Prime, but I, I might, probably would have given him the points for it. No, I, 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 no, I would get points for that. Okay. Well, you didn't, you didn't say it. You didn't actually. I know, but the, I would. You didn't have the sack to actually say it, so it's a. It's well, a would, mute. Been, would have been wrong if I would have said it. So it's a mute point. <laughs> mute. Final question, extreme. Yes. Close out. Will you survive five hundred? What subject had addiction issues, which caused the end of his bodybuilding career? Bing, ding. Yeah, ding. Are you bing or ding? I'm ding. Okay, you are ding. Nacho Bandit. That is correct. Yeah. He was addicted to burritos. Sick. Yeah. And dick. <laughs> or he is a dick or addicted to dick? Oh, he's both. <laughs> well, he's that got a uh, massive like forearm. Yeah, a, uh, just one. Robert, just one. Robert Palmer parody, ad addicted dick would be a fun one. Um, let's do some math here. Biron has the most math because of his pluses and minuses. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. There isn't one. I, I have a math. We'll see if we mesh. I wasn't keeping track. I'll be honest. I got Biron at 800. Yep. Okay. Um, Mike. I've got. I got eleven 1, for Mike. Thousand. I got a minus. You have the minus one hundred. Oh no, no, you're it? right. You're right. It is a thousand. You didn't know the Green Planet. I thought Mike would have definitely known that one, being the scholarly fellow. Um, so Mike at a thousand extreme. Yep. Nine hundred. I wrote. Oh, some of them I wrote Brian. Some of them I, I wrote extreme. That's fucking me up. I got him at 900. I have him at 900 as well. Mike wins so Mike the game wins show again. This one. What? Mike wins again. Mike wins again. 100, 900, 800. Congrats, Mike. Yay. <laughs>